see him. And Josh Dobbs. On, on Friday before games, that's like our easy day. Um, practicing their celebration while the defense is going through like their scout team period. So you kind of get an idea, but when Sunday comes, you kind of just like to sit back and watch and see what he does. And so as we all know, he's just really quick on his feet. So it's always cool to see how he just like reacts and does something funny and celebrates and just has fun with the game. It kind of refreshes you because, you know, you watch the info game and he brings a lot of passion to it um, day in and day out and how he works when he gets to Sunday. And he, so it goes out there, has fun, and celebrates. You know, it just shows you why you play the game. You play to have fun. So it's always cool to have that refreshing mindset on your team. Um, Justin Brewer from uh, Helping Heroes, a docu series about veteran, uh, helping veterans in need. Um, do you have any friends or family members who are in the military? Yes, I do. I, I've had a couple cousins and then a couple friends that I've joined the military that I went to school with. Um, so for me, I always respect you know, their service and what they do for our country, because I know a lot of the freedoms that we have um, aren't shared throughout the, across the world. So what they fight for on a day in, day out basis, how they fight and how they honor our flag and our country is always an honor to know those people and respect their service. Thanks. Uh, again, James Worthy, Die Hard Media. What have you learned in the time of working with uh, Ben Roethlisberger and the quarterback group? What has it been like? What have you learned? I've had gained a wealth of knowledge just about the quarterback position. With a guy like Ben, just being able to watch how he approaches each day, watch how he uh, sets the defense, whether it's in practice or on the game field, and be able to go back and watch his film and figure out what he's thinking in his mind and then talk to him, talk through the plays with him. And the film, you know, it's been a great resource for me. I've grown a lot um, just learning how he plays the game with football. So, as we all know, Ben's had a ton of success. Uh, in the league, and set numerous records. So for me to be around that on a day in, day out basis, learn from him and just take a notebook full of notes and jot it down, and, you know, I'm really thankful for the opportunity that I have. Uh, yes, uh, with uh, your new offensive coordinator, I believe Randy Fitchner, can mm -hmm. you tell us, uh, since those of us aren't as familiar with him, can you tell us a little bit about his system and uh, what's different from Todd Haley's? Right, so we have the same playbook per se, um, play calls. Um, stuff like that, but you know, with Randy, of course, you know, the play calling is going to be different. And with him, you know, a lot is dealt to the quarterback position, where it's on us to call the plays, on us to figure out what the defense is doing, pre snap, get the offense in the right situation, right play, to attack them, and then make adjustments and audibles from there. So um, it's, it's a big quarterback center system where the quarterback has a lot of power at the line of scrimmage, whether it's with the cadence, with the play calls, with audibles, even if the coach is calling the plays. So it gives us a lot of power to go out and be successful and put the offense in the right situation. So I'm excited to see you know, how our offense continues to take that next step forward. I mean, we have a lot of playmakers, a lot of explosiveness across the board. So the goal is to get the ball in the right people's hands to be successful. And that's what I think we'll do with Randy. So I'm excited. Thank you. How you doing, kid? Uh, Patrick Walker, 24 7 Sports. What does it mean for the team um, as far as emotionally to have a, a push like seeing? Uh, Ryan Shazier go through such a tragic injury and maintain such positivity and still stay around uh, the team, his teammates as much as possible. Like, what does that do for you guys going forward in 2018? It means a lot. You know, we play for him, of course, just knowing what he's gone through and how he's taken steps to come back from his injury. And it's really cool seeing his mindset on a day in basis where, you know, you go in to work out and he's already in the weight room doing his rehab, um, in the pool, doing different things. You know, he's taken a lot of steps forward where he's gone from, you know, being in a wheelchair to now walking with walkers to doing different things. So to be able to see a day-by-day -day progression of how he works hard, um, how he's pushing to come back from an injury, it's like, wow, it's like, whatever you're going through, you know, you just put that to the side and just continue to grind, and whether it's for him or for the team, to continue to improve. So it's awesome to be around that mindset, honestly. Of course, it's tragic what he went through, but uh, he definitely has the right mindset, and he'll definitely come back stronger from it. Hi. Uh, yeah, Alan with uh, Cover One. Could you tell us about uh, James Washington, how he's looked so far in the offseason? He's looked really good. You know, he was, uh, I remember watching when he was in college, uh, just from afar, um, dynamic playmaker, deep ball, as we all know. Uh, but seeing him in OTAs, the outrun is really, really good, strong hands, super catch, makes that contested catch, 
and then can take the top off the defense. So he definitely adds another element to our offense. So very similar to how Juju came in last year, hard worker, um, soft-spoken, just wants to come in, play football, and be good. And so it's just great to be around that throw to him, and I know he'll take a lot of stuff forward in camp. Josh Shaw, fantasy football, you dropped it. AB, or what about the Drew? AB, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> fantasy football monster. I haven't ever done fantasy football. I've, I always miss the deadline. It's like, it just sneaks up on me every year, and the day after, I have to sign up late. So, um, but if I had the first pick, AB all day. AB all day. I'm a little biased, I see him every day, um, but I'm definitely taking AB. Nothing against the other guys, but AB's my guy. If you had a cheat day on your diet, zero repercussions, what would it be and why? Cheat day on my diet, zero repercussions. Ooh, I would say, uh, so a place in Atlanta called Piece of Cake has the best red velvet cake. If you guys haven't had it, I'll just pick out on that all day. <laughs> That's my cheat day. And a lot of chocolate chip cookies, but I might get an upset stomach. Anybody else? Uh, I'm going to put it like AB, obviously, the 32 makes things pretty easy. But do you feel like uh, it's easier sometimes for you to click with the young team coming in? Um, just trying to get established or like yourself. Do you feel like maybe you have some sort of better well, I mean, of course you get more reps with the younger guys. You know, when A.B. and Ben are there, you know, A.B.'s going with Ben, and it only makes sense. Um, and A.B.'s the guy where, you know, if you get a rough thing, it's like, oh, I'm throwing the ball to A.B., I don't care if he's double covered or whatever. But you do get a good rapport with the young guys just because they're running the offense. You were just them last year. So you're able to come in, talk them through the plays, talk them through the looks, talk ball with them, and then you're getting the actual reps with them. So you do build a good rapport with them. Our coaches do a good job mixing up reps, um, especially uh, when Ben's not there. So you get a chance to get everyone reps with everyone, time with everyone. But you definitely grow with the young guys quicker because that's it, who you have the most reps with. One more. Good one. Hey, Maybe good, but I guess sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a situation where you know you guys see the the contract negotiation that's going on between Le'Veon Bell and the organization. Um, do you guys find it difficult, so to speak, to maintain focus throughout the offseason program when you have someone that means so much to the team that's going, um, that's in those talks right now with so much on the line for him? Honestly, it's not It's not difficult. Um, just because we know the type of player Le'Veon is. Um, we know, you know he, he's a running back, and running backs only have so much tread, so um, he has to be smart, take care of his body. Um, and so, you know, you saw last year he showed up Monday before the first game, and led the league in rushing, led the league in all-purpose yards, led the league in whatever stat you know he had, he was up there. So um, knowing the type of guy he is, the type of work that he has, the type of uh, dynamics he brings to the game, you know, it, it, we're not too worried about it. We know that whenever he gets back, we'll be ready to go, ready to compete, and ready to make a difference, and that's what he does. So uh, we're not too worried about it. All right, guys, thank you all very much. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.